stuck on an island We're cut off from the shore The sea's getting okay, everyone. higher very misty, murky and atmospheric today in Snowdonia. So instead of going up the hills, because there just isn't any views, I'm just not going to get any views up the mountains today. I'm going to stay lower, more towards the lakes and get into the woods. Head to over clean dinners and maybe the walking path and just see if we can get some nice waterfall shots and get in the woodland as well. I'm hoping this cloud will actually lower. I don't want it to rise, I want it to uh, lower today and it might create some foggy conditions in the uh, in the woods. But yeah, even though it's quite dull and murky, it's, uh, it's still pretty beautiful. Cause we've tried so hard And we've come so far Now we're drowning Oh, we're drowning We're constantly high I've decided to come up the walking path just to explore some of the local woodland, local to the walking path of course, and uh, some of the waterfalls further up as well. Probably the prettiest route up Snowdon, but don't be deceived by pretty, as it's uh, a hefty slog. I've done it before, all the way to the top and you're about 200 metres further down than you are from uh, the pig track so you're doing a lot more elevation and it's a lot steeper the further you go but yeah it's a beautiful walk and I'll just show you around uh, the waterfalls and some of the woodland today then as the cloud base is quite low and you're getting zero views anything 500 metres up you've got absolutely no chance today How did we get here? From simple conversation, now inhibitions disappear. Cause in the night it seemed a good idea. And I'll be honest, I'm glad that you're here. Well, I've just reached the, uh, the lower, lower fall of the Watkin Path. It's a beautiful little area. I've not been here before. Uh, however, there is a few man-made structures, uh, like sandbags in the waterfall, waterfall. And uh, I think it's running to the farm down below. So uh, yeah, beautiful nonetheless though, but I'm gonna venture further up and see what's up there too. This is the main attraction of the uh, walking path. Got crystal clear blue water. And this beautiful slate bridge that crosses the, uh, the streams. Just go across here and out. Amazing view. But yeah. You can definitely see why it's the uh, most beautiful view up Snowden. Or the most beautiful way up Snowden, sorry. So much character. Well, I'm just using the bridge to frame the waterfall. As you see from here. It looks really nice. You've got the clear blue water and the bridge just above the waterfall. So that should make quite a nice image. I'm still at the same location, this time I'm shooting a vertical image. And in the frame I've tried to put the bridge so it's not, not dissecting a waterfall, instead it's, uh, it's where the rocks are. So you can still see the waterfalls pretty clearly in the frame. 
above it. It's a nice tree that's just starting to get its leaves back, ready for the start of summer. And some dark, moody clouds in the background too. So this, again, should be a pretty nice image. Got a nice blue water just at the bottom, so it'll look pretty good. Yeah, I'll show you this one now. I think I got some uh, <coughs> nice shots down there. I've been a few times now. Easter weekend coming up, and it's going to be absolutely teeming with people uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <coughs> so I thought I'd come today uh, before the crowds get here. And so they should, really. It's an amazing uh, location, and you, you want everyone to enjoy it, not just photographers. I know photographers go on and say, they want locations to themselves, but it's such a popular spot, and that's the benefit of exploring and finding new areas off the beaten track. Okay, this is fairly popular, but I've come on a choir today. Uh, but as long as people respect the landscape, everyone's everyone's welcome to come. Definitely, and uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be a busy area at the weekend. But yeah, I think got some nice shots there. I'll go further up now and see uh, see what else we can get. I've come further up uh, the walking path now. Essentially, it's about a quarter of the way up uh, up, snow, up to the Snowdon summit. I'm not going that far today, though. Uh, just You've got more of a mountain backdrop here. Further down, you've got beautiful waterfalls, uh, but the background's not as dramatic as what you've got up here. Anyway, we've got Adan behind me, which is covered in cloud at the moment, and so is Snowdon. It's just, uh, it's just pea soup in there. Just an absolute... Cloud fest. But I am hoping, I've been here before and there's some nice waterfalls further up here where you do get a mountain backdrop. I might not get the the defined triangular summit of it Adan, but I will get some nice ridges and some moody clouds in the shot, I'd hope. So I'm going to explore further up here and uh, see what I can get. But yeah, really nice conditions for photographing waterfalls and well moving water these are. The light's quite subdued and there's no bright, bright highlights in the water, so perfect for that. See what I can get. I've come further up now, just at this stunning waterfall, which is just uh, the foreground. Behind it, you've got Cloud Core, which is the western slope of Snowdon. And then Bulk come land, and then Ir Adan. But what this waterfall gives you is an amazing backdrop, and it's quite powerful, and you can get close to it as well. So you can make really dramatic images. Just look at it from here. It's a very imposing fall, and you can make it even more so in camera. But yeah, it's a really. Uh, Really amazing waterfall this one, definitely worth coming to. It's quite loud down there, uh, that waterfall really was uh, ferocious. But it makes some uh, interesting, dramatic images. So definitely worth going to. I'm going to head back down uh, Avon, uh, uh, Avon Club Plan now. Cross the, cross the river up down here. And do, do like a loop. So uh, see if there's any shots to be had on the opposing side of the river. Uh, I'll cross up at the top here. It shouldn't be too bad. Might get my feet wet, but that's, uh, that's the worst that will happen. Yeah, it really is a nice walk and lots to explore around here. You can make a whole day out of it. I've probably made about two or three hours out of it, but you can definitely make uh, 
a day out of it, especially in the summer. If you've got a nice overcast rainy day all day, yeah, I definitely suggest coming here. Just on the other side of the river now. Thankfully, I didn't get my feet wet. But there's this old ruined building. I'll put its usage up on the uh, screen now if I can find it. But it's pretty interesting. It's situated at the top of the uh, main falls of Avon Cumplan. You can go in, there's nice uh, walkways. Another big window here. And then the waterfall's just. Uh, just there, so you get a good view of it from in here. Not a bad place to wake up if it's your bedroom. You've got your shower room right next to your bedroom, really. Not in winter, though. Be absolutely freezing. Yeah. Pretty incredible place. Just found another nice scene with these nice cascades leading up to the flank of Igluev. Again, it makes quite a nice moody shot with this nice blue turquoisey water. Looks really good as well. The camera's in quite an ominous position. Right in the middle of the uh, river with a cascade right behind it. So. There's not a chance I can get behind the camera, so I've kind of got to leave it there and reach over to take the images. As such. But it's quite difficult, but it's, uh, it's a lovely little scene anyway. And I'll show you that image now. Stuck on an island We're cut off from the shore The sea's getting higher I can't take it anymore There's no way of avoiding The oncoming storm There's no way not just the grand scenic shots you can get up here as well when the sun's shining bright especially with the water being so turquoise and you've got so many vibrant rocks that the sun like reflects off them and you get some really uh, contrasting colors and you get some nice abstract shots too I was in uh, at Crafting Waterfalls about a week ago now and those are the exact conditions we had and I took one of my favorite shots it's something a bit different I zoomed in at 400 mil uh, right in on the water but I caught the bubble nice and sharp and it, it's just something a bit different but I'm, I was really happy with it it's something uh, I don't know if you if you're on a certain type of mushroom or you don't want too many beers it's the kind of uh, thing you'd be looking at I'd imagine yeah but it's uh, I enjoyed it <laughs> it was a nice shot cloud base is actually lowering but I don't think it's going to lower before it gets dark I think it's going to uh, going to be a foggy night but that's no good if you're in woodland and you need light in the forest so unfortunately I think uh, 
My plan was to shoot back down in the in the woodland as you're going through the what the early stages of the walking path. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to to get those images today. Uh as the light's gonna just fade quicker and quicker. But it's been a good shoot anyway. I've enjoyed uh exploring the waterfalls further up Avon Complan. Got some nice pictures, especially uh right at the top where you've got the mountain backdrop. And I hope you've enjoyed it too. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you the pictures at the end. You've seen them all already, but I'll do a little mont montage at the end too. But from uh, the walking path and the many cascades, I'll see you again. Stuck on an island You're cut off from the shore She's getting higher I can't take it anymore There's no way of avoiding